Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Amy Edwards. I'm a Platinum Consultant of Evolution and Archer Travel. I am on Team Sunset. Today, we're going to talk about new agent getting started. I'm going to kind of walk through the steps of how I did it and what my suggestions are. Please keep in mind that your mentor or your team has, you know, kind of their own checklist and their own flow as well. So whatever works for you, please do it that way. Um, but these are just my suggestions. Definitely not how it has to be done. And then at the end, I will um, stay on as long as I can to answer any questions. I may have to refer you to a Q&A or um, give you my information for questions because I do have a presentation just after this. So um, the first thing we are going to talk about is kind of the steps going through. I'm going to give you a few examples. If you have questions, feel free to put those in the chat box and I will answer those along the way. All right. So here again is how I did it. Um, and I wanted to make sure that you guys know, I know I've said it a couple of times, that you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but this is the way that it worked for me. So in the beginning, you are going to get your enrollment completed. You're going to get your very own agent ID. And via email, you are going to get a link to your back office. You should also get some welcome information from your mentor, which is going to guide you with adding your mentor on social media. Uh, that is, if you have social media, not a requirement, so that they can help you to get added to the um, specifically the Facebook pages, as well as joining your team on the Facebook Messenger sites. Um, if your team does a welcome photo or a welcome email, um, you are going to send a photo that kind of helps to create that flyer just to give you a quick introduction to your teams. Um, you will know what team you're on and what your team name is, as well as who your mentor is by joining that Facebook Messenger group, okay? In that Facebook Messenger group, you should be able to ask questions. You should be able to see questions of others on your team, as well as get a daily training calendar, okay? That should be in your teams. Uh, there's probably other places such as Discord. Um, you can see a lot of the recorded trainings as well as the live training schedule. So a couple of teams I know have Discord. I know that if you're on Team Sail Away or with Becky Cohen, um, she has kind of her own page um, or her community that she posts all that on. So she may not use um, Facebook Messenger, but she has that community uh, that she uses that works a lot like Messenger. Uh, you're going to get your welcome information, as I kind of already talked about. That welcome information is going to include the next steps to follow, where to go for trainings, um, going through your steps to success making sure that you are following that in the beginning. It is so easy to get sidetracked. It's so easy for something interesting to catch your eye that we kind of go away from those beginning steps. But it's important to stick with those beginning steps so that you can build a good foundation. So your first step, of course, is going to be getting your certification. It's where you watch those I believe there's now nine video modules um, where you, at the end, get your certificate. All right, and hold on to that certificate because you are gonna use it to do what we call launching your business. After that, you're gonna go to new agent orientation. We have live sessions, six, sometimes seven days a week. And then we also have recorded versions. So if you cannot attend the live session, you can absolutely attend the recorded version. What I did is I attended the live session I felt like it moved a little too fast for me to be able to do all the steps. So then I went back and I did the recorded version and I was able to pause and making sure that I registered with those vendors, making sure I set up my website and got that all done. If you feel like you need to attend two of those, you can absolutely do that as well. But it's really important that you attend that new agent orientation because if you don't, you will have a million questions, okay? Um, and your mentor, they're there to answer your questions, but we want to make sure that you get the basics completed. And that's why we've set up these separate trainings, all right? Working on your steps to success in your first 30 days. Making sure with those steps to success, you're following those from your mentor. Not only do you get at least half of your initial investment back, but you have built the foundation that your business needs. Okay, so 
keep working on those steps to success. What I did is I kind of create is a separate checklist. It was like a wish list, and anything that I found interesting or something that I really wanted to look into, whether it been from a training or something I seen posted in the chats, I would make a list and I would be as descriptive as possible where I seen it, where I need to go to learn about it, what it is. Okay, that way you kind of have a checklist of things that you want to go through once you start feeling comfortable. Another tip that I have for you is in your back office, I'm going to go ahead and go to mine. Uh, on the left here, we have quick start documents. And there's a document that I want everyone to print off. So you're going to click on that quick start documents. Um, the new agent packet, the corporate steps to success, I would ignore those just because our team has ours. Uh, travel agent responsibilities is a really good uh, document that you can read through. But this Archer Supplier Credentials, this is really important. And if you're outside of the US, I know there are a couple different areas um, that you'll go to and the new agent orientation is a little bit separate, but your mentor can help you to walk through that. So if you're outside of the US, you're gonna get a little more one-on-one -on -one help with your mentor because the registering and a couple of the things are a little bit different, okay? So here is that PDF, and I want you to either save this where you can refer to it or to print this out where you can um, look at it if you need to. So if you have any help that you need with supplying or with registering for suppliers, here is the email to Archer Travel to get that help as well as the phone number. Now I will tell you, before reaching out to Archer Travel, please check with your mentor or your gold or platinum leader. So many times it's just a small clerical error that we're going to help you to walk through. Um, but if we need you to reach out to Archer Travel for whatever reason, if you're getting an error, we will let you know. Um, you know, there are so many agents. There are so few um, employees at Archer Travel. They want to help you. They will help you. But it's going to take a little bit of time. So it's helpful if we can assist you first. Okay. Some key items, never sending a W-9 form to suppliers. Uh, all of Archer Travel's credentials for the USA are here. So their name, address, phone, fax, the IATA number. This is for all land and air travel. You'll get to know this number. You will have this number memorized. That is for any land and air suppliers. This is the number that tells the vendors to pay Archer Travel. You'll then submit your confirmation number to Archer Travel, and they will make that payment to you for commissions, okay? The cruise line reference number works the same way, just with cruises. A lot of times they refer to it as a phone number, even though it isn't. You are going to make sure with cruise lines, you give them this number so that you can protect your commissions. And then Australia is here, and again, for Mexico, or Europe or any other area, um, please reach out to your mentor, okay? So there's that for you. All right, next thing we're gonna talk about is what to do after new agent orientation. So we've registered with the vendors, we found out about business cards, uh, we're registering for the suppliers, um, which I guess is the same as vendors, but you know we're making sure we get our steps completed, we set up our website, now, what do we do, okay? New agent phase two, and that's one of my homework assignments that I have for you guys, is to find the recording of new agent phase two. Find out where your recorded trainings are stored and look at this training because it really walks you through marketing and it walks you through how to launch your business. Now, this is the part where people get a little bit nervous, and that is with launching your business. Okay. And I completely understand how that can be nerve wracking because each one of us are a little bit different. Some of us, our mind kind of works like I want to know everything there is to know before I tell someone, hey, I can book travel for you. Right. So you want to go through and you want to make sure that you know every single thing on how to book travel. I can tell you that's going to be hard because there's so many different destinations and types of travel. But if you want to spend however long 
learning the business before you launch your business, you can absolutely do that. But here was my, my frame of mind. Launching your business is basically announcing to the world that you are a travel agent and that you can help book their travel. Scariest thing, I completely understand. However, the sooner that you launch your business and start to focus on marketing, the sooner you're going to get real live information to get that hands-on training. Now, if you are super popular on social media or super popular in your community, you may get a lot of inquiries, but your mentor and leaders are here to help you with those inquiries. You're going to have real live information to be able to go through and get quotes and do itineraries, okay? We are always here to help you until you're comfortable. Usually, typically though, you'll get a few people that are kind of just price searching. They're just looking for, you know, information or is see what kind of specials that you have. In the beginning, those are really good training um, materials. Those are really good practice. You will learn down the road um, how to kind of filter out the people who aren't really ready to book versus the people who are ready to book. Uh, but for right now, it's really good training. So I launched my business right after I completed the new agent orientation and new agent phase two. I think I was only about four days in when I launched my business. From there, I knew that I needed to work on marketing because it is a goal to tell everyone that you're a travel agent. And then it's also a goal to remind them in some way every single day. And I'm not saying post a special every day. I'm not saying, you know, um, post, you want to, you want to kind of elaborate that. So you want to post maybe packing list or different destinations, introduce yourself that way. When someone thinks of travel, they are going to think of you because in the recent days, they have seen your information. You're going to learn about marketing. If you're doing this online. Not only are you going to post about travel on your page or on your business page or both, whichever you prefer, but also you are going to interact with others so that you can stay at the top of their news feed. All right. Um, you are going to set up a Facebook business page, uh, branch up. I think that's a really great service to help bring that professional travel appearance to your page. And then a Google business page. Google is getting a little bit harder to set up because they have a lot of more, uh, you know, a system of checks and balances. So if you're having trouble with Google, let your mentor know. They will definitely help you out. But let me kind of just show you what Branch Up is. Here is my page. And it really takes the initial scare and thought process out of marketing because they're gonna post to your page between one and three times every single day. And it's gonna be travel related, whether it be specials or photos or just you know destinations in general. So I'm gonna scroll through, I'm gonna show you, see over here, all of these photos. Those are all from Branch Up. This one here, just a photo with a nice caption. You can edit this caption in any way to add your contact information. Uh, maybe you don't really like this one. You can go all the way up to two weeks out and see everything that they're gonna post so that you can edit or move the date, time, or delete them. Uh, the next one here, again, another photo. Um, this one, this one is a special. So this is a summer sale. The nice thing about Branch Up is if your clients click on the link right here, everything they click in that link is going to refer to you. If they want more information, they can click to call you. They can also click to email you. Now, if you've never heard of this cruise line before, you're going to go right into the Branch Up website and it's going to tell you all about this special. Okay. When you start learning about booking, you are going to learn what we call qualifying your client. Every single person you talk to 
every single quote that you're going to get, you're going to do what we call qualifying your client, which means you are going to gather all of the information from them to properly book their trip. So never be afraid. We're going to show you how to, you know, qualify. We're going to show you how to build a form. If you want to do a form or a checklist, um, you can have people go to your website. Let me show you on the website where that is. You can have people go to your website and they can fill out the form on your website, which will also send you an email. Um, or you can do it right over the phone. You can ask these questions right over the phone. I usually tell new people to go into your website and fill out this plan your trip tool. It's gonna walk through a series of questions. You're gonna then know what, is, what your website is asking of your clients in case they have a question. And you're also going to get all of these in a checklist form. So fill it out with, you know, one, two, threes or ABCs, or you can fill it out with maybe a trip that you wanna take one day. You can fill all those out and get your own email just to see what that looks like. But that kind of goes through asking all the questions. So when you're new, you're gonna let people know, hey, you know, give me just a couple of days, let me work on some different options and I'm gonna reach out to you. And then we are going to help you to be able to do that. A lot of you are already booking travel. You already know how to do it. Um, you know where to do the research or you watch some training. So that's going to be pretty easy for you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and post in the chat box as well some homework questions that I have for you. Um, some things we have already kind of went over so I can show you how to do that. Uh, number one, know your mentor and your platinum leader's name. If you run into something, if you get into trouble, if you, you know, lose Facebook or something, you have them in your contacts. So add them to your phone contacts, okay? You're gonna print out those Archer Travel credentials that I showed you. You're gonna know where to find the live training schedule and the recorded trainings. You are then gonna work on completing the steps to success, which you'll get from your mentor. You are gonna find and watch new agent phase two after the orientation steps are complete. Make sure new agent orientation is complete, okay? And those you're going to find in your recorded trainings. They could be on the live training schedule, depending on when you complete it. All right. And then I want you to discover your niche or your specialty and set your dedicated business hour. I cannot stress enough how important it is to schedule your time as best as you can to schedule mental breaks. Don't allow yourself to get overloaded. People who allow themselves to get overloaded, a lot of times you put it to the side for a day. And, you know, any of parents out there, you know, especially if you have kids, one day turns into 3,650 days. And before you know it, your kid's graduating, right? Happens in the blink of an eye. Make sure you're dedicating time to your business. Um, not only do you have open hours for your business, but you also have dedicated times that you are working on and building your business, whether it's 30 minutes a day, whether it's two hours a week, whatever your schedule allows, just make sure you're doing that. Okay. Your best practice, maybe you've launched your business or maybe you haven't decided to launch your business yet. Your best practice are what we're going to call mock bookings. Basically, that's going through one of our suppliers. It's quoting a fantasy vacation. So let's say I'm going to go to Vax Vacation. You're going to learn who they are if you haven't already used them. And I'm going to search for a trip on Thanksgiving week. So I'm going to do five days. And I'm going to choose an all-inclusive resort in Cancun. I'm going to figure out what the price is, with or without flights, whatever you'd like to include. And then I'm going to go to my social media pages where I'm going to print flyers to post in my community that says five days in Cancun over Thanksgiving week, starting at $900 a person. You know, that's what we essentially call a mock booking. So it's basically a sales post. Um, but I've not only created an advertisement for myself, reminded people that I'm a travel agent, but I've also gotten that practice through Vax Vacation Access that showed me how 
to get that price for that book. All right. We have mock booking trainings all the time that are live. And we also have many recorded trainings to show you how to do that. Um, we have sample flyers. We have almost anything that you need. Um, you know, it's just learning where to find them. Okay. A couple of things that you can also sign up for. So we have a couple of perks. Um, these are nice. Uh, we have spoiledagent.com. I always say to get on their social media as well because they have a ton of giveaways. Uh, they have a ton of giveaways on trainings. They have a ton of giveaways on their social media site. And they have a lot of resorts with agent rates. So if you're looking to travel, they have a lot of really good rates for agents. Uh, Wheels Up Network. They have a lot of international fam trips, which are familiarization trips. So they are greatly reduced or sometimes even free. Um, so keep an eye on the Wheels Up Network site. They also do a few trainings. And then as you can, um, depending on what your specialty is, you can start taking those trainings through those vendors. Um, I wouldn't suggest to take a lot of vendor trainings or vendor certifications right away. I would just kind of focus on your specialty. A couple of them that people are really excited about though is the Princess and Cunard Cruise Lines where you get the free cruise fares uh, as well as the College of Disney Knowledge, all right? I'll show you really quickly what Disney looks like. And basically, this is what all of our vendors and suppliers are going to look like. So if I go to DisneyTravelAgents.com, I'm going to sign in. Now, as a reminder, I don't know if I mentioned this, but please, please, with your first couple bookings, get with your mentor just to review it, no matter how comfortable you are, only because the login site for the regular general public and the login site for agents is a lot of times looks the same. The biggest mistake we have is where agents book on the site for the general public and they don't get their commission. So please make sure to work those few with your mentor just to make sure you know what your commission is before booking. Okay, so here is the Disney travel agent site. We have, and almost all of our vendors are going to look like this, but reservations and offers, so any offers that are going on. Marketing tools, so you can build an e-brochure, you can have a Disney mini site, you can go to the Travel Professionals Facebook page because you want to be really careful how you advertise for Disney. Um, they are copyrighted, so they'll tell you what you can advertise and what you can't do. Uh, brochures, they have the collateral store that you can order brochures on. Uh, different Disney destinations, and then training and benefits. So you're going to be able to see where you're at in the training. You're going to be able to see what your available benefits are. Um, and you can pick up and leave off wherever you want to. And when you come back, it'll be right where you left off. With. Okay. So, and then of course, here is your booking area and where you can see your reservation. So almost all of the sites are set up like this. So almost all of them have that information on how to, you know, get through your training, how to get your uh, perks and discounts and benefits. All right. So as far as the daily training schedule, I know that's something else that can feel a little overwhelming. Um, and here's what I did. I attended as many of the Q and A's as I could. I was lucky I was working full time. I could just put my headphones in and I could listen in on the Q and A. So, um, you know, a lot of people were asking questions. I didn't even know that I needed the answer to. Um, I got to hear some really good ideas. I got to hear other, how other people were marketing themselves. So it's nice to just be able to go in and listen. Um, Attending two to three trainings a week is really good. Um, don't feel like you have to train, attend all of them at by any means. That would be, you know, that would be a lot of time out of your day. Our trainings are typically 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and if you see a training that you're really interested in or follows your specialty, again, write it on your wish list, 
write down the trainer's name because then you can get the recording of their training and watch it when you're able to, okay? Follow your niche or your specialty. Um, if you wanna do everything travel, you absolutely can. Or if you just wanna do something specific like cruises or even more specific, carnival cruises, um, Caribbean travel, European travel, so many different specialties out there. There are hundreds and hundreds of specialties. And then if you choose to become a mentor, um, you can absolutely do so. You can work with your mentor. They can walk you through how to start doing that. You can build a residual income if you'd like, but it's completely optional. It's definitely not something that you have to do at all, okay? So that's kind of an overview. I know I kind of walked through that a little bit fast, um, but again, I recorded this and I can give you, or I'll post it in the chat group so you guys can see that recording. Um, another thing I suggest is when a trainer posts a recording, subscribe to their YouTube page because that gives you immediate access when they post another recording. You can look through some of their stuff and usually you find trainers that you really like. Um, and so when they post a training, it's nice to be able to get notification to do that as well as to support the trainer. You know, we all volunteer our time to do these trainings. Um, so it's really nice to get that support. All right, are there any questions? I know I have those couple of homework duties. Um, but I think I'm going over the basics. Um, you know, and again, I know sometimes it feels like you're drinking from a fire hose. It's a lot of information at once. Probably took me, I would say anywhere from 10 to 12 days to really feel comfortable about what I was doing. Um, but again, I was I had a full-time job. So I only did it, you know, just a few hours a week. So uh, once I got through the trainings, once I had listened in on a few of the Q&As and did a mock booking, I started to really feel comfortable and things started to fall into place as to why I was doing it and what order I was doing it and how I was doing it. All right. Um, let's see, the specials on our Evo website, do we just go to the vendor to find those specials? Yeah, you absolutely can. Yep, that's typically what I do. I don't send a lot of people to book travel in my website just because I feel like I want to give that personal service to them. So what I do is figure out where they want to go, if they've seen a special, what the special was, and then I go directly to that vendor. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. You guys are welcome to stay on.